Hey everyone, it's Matt here, and today we're doing another episode of Matt Beats Games. Hope you all are doing well. I am, I think. So we just beat a boss, and hopefully you saw that episode. If you didn't, definitely check that one out. And, uh, halt! No squidlets allowed in Squid Squat. God Emperor's Castle. Ink you, I pay taxes. No you don't. Shoo, shoo! Okay, well what if I... Do it again. Halt! No squidlets allowed in Squid Squat. God Emperor's Castle. But... I'm a squidlet. Oh, stop making sense. And then I just get by. So, the humor in this game, I, I think, uh, some of you noticed, might not be... I love, I love those little ghosts. Might not be your cup of ink. I understand, okay? For me, though, I find it a hoot. I think it's really funny. Um, just, you know, little cutisms. You know, it's not... The, the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life, but, you know, it's a nice little reprieve. Ow, how dare you. Uh, it's a nice little reprieve from grim dark stuff. You know, just a little cute little squid going around. Um, but like I just said before, hope you all are doing well. Uh, I'm still recording in the dead of night. And I should probably be finishing this tonight. Uh, like I mentioned last time, no save files available. Like, you can't save in this game, which... It stinks. I don't care about it for the PC version. I don't know why. I got it on Steam as well, as I mentioned last time. But, ah, these you actually can't kill. So you just have to kind of run away from them in squidlet fashion. But, anyway, so I don't care about it uh, not saving on the PC, but on the Switch, because it's portable, I'm like, come on. Gee, I hope a squidlet doesn't filch my cell key while I sleep. We should spray for them more often. Maybe I should filch the cell key while he sleeps. No, no, that's that's not. They would never want me to do that. All right, which one? Oh, who's this? You'll never take me alive. Thank you. Thank you for the muffins. Those are stolen muffins, but you know what? Stolen muffins taste better. There, I said it. Um, okay, who are these two dudes? Oh, thank goodness. I promised I'll never forget to say God Emperor after Squid Squat God Emperor's name again. He just forgot to say it. Okay, and then this one. Thank you for releasing me. I saw Emperor Squid Squat brewing a dark magic potion, but I was discovered and she locked me in here. Please, you must help me stop her. I swiped a key from a guard, but it wasn't the one to my cell. Maybe it will open the gate over there. Yes, it opened the gate over there. Cool. All right, so let's... Oh, God, I have to get away from this dude. Oh, God, ah. More of them are coming. More of them! So, yeah, these ghosts are so cute. Obviously, they're inspired by... Ah, this spellcaster, Hadoken... Anyway, so these things are clearly inspired by booze. And I know some people are like, oh, if this is inspired by X, Y, or Z, you know... They, they sit back and they're like, no, it's not, you know, it has to be 100% original, nothing's inspired by anything, but I don't know, I feel like everything is inspired by something. I think they're, they're cute, obviously this is meant to be a love letter to Game Boy games, so I, you know, I, I don't care, I think that they're fun. Uh, let's see right here, it says, we need to go to the Royal Library in Castletown. There's a magic book there that contains most knowledge in Squid Squad's Empire. We need it if we want to stop it. I'll meet you there. All right, he'll meet me there. Cool, cool beans. So uh, this game, I hate it because I'm making this seem very, very easy, and I'm not saying it's like super difficult. But when you play this game, I'm pretty sure this is my fourth, maybe even fifth time playing it. Uh, it starts to, you know, you start to know all the little, the little ins and outs and patterns and whatnot. But I, you know, I definitely would recommend it. Like I said before, like I believe I said this last time, maybe not so much for the Switch, but I would definitely recommend it on Steam. And I mean, just look at this artwork. Like, it's just so beautiful. I, I said before there aren't that many different tracks. Obviously, there are a few different ones. Uh, and it's just, I don't know, just it's it's all so gorgeous. And I really enjoy whoop, seeing it. Also, again, it was just super cheap. It was like two bucks. So, okay, this Hadoken, got him. No, oh, 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 wait, ah, you little fern. Okay, I'm rushing because all of you are here and I don't want to be a slowpoke. So I'm pretty sure those do nothing because uh, I'm underground. 
They're just for aesthetic purposes, which is fair. And I, I normally I'm not one to be like, oh, you should have a f better falling animation. But for a long fall like that, it's weird. Maybe it's meant to be cute, but it's just weird that he's just awkward just falling like that. Assemble the gods. Awaken the ancestral golem. We have orders from the god emperor. Not one squidlet passes. All right, that actually sounds bad. Now, by the way, I am the one squidlet that will pass, but um, I have to say that that does sound very intimidating. So that is not that is not good for me at all. Uh, this is going to be another boss fight with no health bar, which is great. But even though there's no health bar, which sucks, um, ob his his uh, hit point or weak point rather, it's clear. I just don't know when I'm hitting him. That's the problem. I'm assuming I am, but there's no real indication whether I'm hitting this thing or not. I mean, sound-wise, you can kind of tell. Seems like something is up, and of course he's you know moving faster. Ow! Oh, and I got him. Now, what's funny is I remember I got him. This was uh, I might have recorded this footage, but it was for a review. I got him, and at the same time I died. That I had to do it all over again. So it's nice that I beat him up. I, I feel good about that. And now I'm in the town. Now I'm going to talk to a bunch of town people about how much they hate squids, uh, squidlets. Oh, hello. You're the squidlet that rescued me from the dungeon. Oh, that was a different voice. I remember. Thanks, a bundle. As long as you're here, I can tell you about my garbage theory. Okay. Um, oh, I know what voice I can do for him. I'm going to say, uh, Great. Garbage theory states that we live in an advanced civilization's garbage universe. Nifty, huh? All right, that hurt my voice. Don't do that voice again, I must tell myself. Hey there, my name's uh, Perithrin. I developed Squidlet Repellent. I'll give you muffins if you let me taste my latest formulas on you. Uh, stranger danger. Well, come on, it's non-toxic, I swear. And I believe, by the way, if I let him test it on me, I'm pretty sure I lose health. So screw that, dude. Uh, let's see some more townsfolk. Oh, what's happening, my groovy little cephalopod? Let's jam together. Oh, yeah. Nice. Cool beans. Yeah, I'm jamming. By the way, here's something cute that I haven't shown you yet. You can actually do this little dance and then he won't do it. But like other squidlets will actually greet you in cute ways. Welcome to the Wallop Polyp Cafe, home of the finest vintage espresso in all of Castletown. I'm your barista, Rubicon. Say, aren't you a little bit too squidlity to be drinking coffee? Yeah, well, you know what? Get off my, uh, get off my back. This guy's the best study town. So, this is where I tend to wallop polyp cafe's garden. Alright, cool. Uh, I feel like I'm missing one person. Hello there, squishy one. Will you hear an old Oobloob's worries? Yes. We collect those crystals we use to control electricity after they rain from the sky. However, they only started falling about a century ago. They sure are useful, but I worry about our lack of knowledge of their origins. Yeah, no, that sucks, man. The giant encyclopedia we're looking for is titled Grimoire. I'll keep watch to make sure none of Squid's knights follow you. You squib on ahead. Okay. Cool. Uh... This part's gonna be a bit longer, I think. Squats Thorax! How does Squidlet get in here? You say you're looking for the Encyclopedia Grimoire? Huh. That book is deep in the locked magical section. The problem is, the last time Squid Squat God Emperor went in, she left the gate open. Now seven books have escaped. If you track them down and stop them, I'll open the gate for you. Your ink should blot out the spells on their pages so they stop fluttering about. But then they'll probably be unreadable. So that sounds like that sucks, and that's something I shouldn't do. But I'm going to do it anyway, um, because that's what they told me to do. So this part gets a little tricky, 
if you're getting a little lost, don't worry, I am as well. Damn those cranes. I hate that there is a world with cranes. And I know that, you know, and it's funny, recently we played Toy Story, uh, Tristan and I, so all I can think of now when I see these cranes is the claw. But damn it, they suck. Okay, so five left. Damn it, they suck. <sighs> Thank you, Muffin. When everything is against me, there will be muffins. Muffins will never betray me. Oh god, could you imagine if it's like the second Mario game, the one that became like the lost levels in the US? Could you imagine if just the muffins were like poisoned? I would just stop the game. I'd be like, I've, I've been betrayed. I cannot, I cannot allow this injustice to stand. I will not eat a poisoned muffin and lose health from it. Nope, not happening. Oop, there's a book. Okay. We have three left. Oh god. I'm lost. Well, thank God there's enemies that are unbeaten. Oh, ow. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, two left. Uh, I know when there are unbeaten enemies that, uh, that is definitely a spawn that, uh, I have yet to uncover. Whoop. Okay, one more book left. No! No! Oh, damn it, I don't have them all yet. There are still more books about. Yeah, I know, bud. I see it. I see it. Oh, no. Maybe we have to go down on this end? Ow. Yes, we do. <sighs> there we go. A little joik. Okay. But then... Oh, good. We can just fall out right here. Perfect. Thank you. Here's the gate key. Be careful, most books down there are chained to the shelves. But lately, Grimoire is taking a liking to breaking their links. I don't know what that means. It sounds like it's gonna suck. But I don't know what that, any of that means. But what I do know is that we're gonna wrap things up here and next time you see us, we are going to beat Squidlet on the Nintendo Switch. So, love you all, take care. If you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe. Tune in next time when I beat this game. So, uh, love you all. I don't know why I'm intense. This is actually a really calm, chill game. Alright, love you all. Take care, and see ya.